From the wrestling ring to the big screen, our first guest is a superstar. His hit movies include The Mummy Returns, The Scorpion King, and his latest, The Rundown. Please welcome The Rock! <laughs> That must be a brand new response for you. It is, yeah. Uh, only on the Ellen Show. Hi. 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 Someone has to. Who's that? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, don't be shy now. No. <laughs> they like you. Thank you so for having you, me on. I thank you for being on. This is uh, this is our third week. You're uh, actually our uh, my biggest guest, my biggest in in many ways. You're oh, cool. you're thank very. You. <laughs> um, you're uh, six five. Is that what you are? Six four, yeah. Yeah. Six, six five with boots, yeah. That's what I meant. With yeah. boots. Um, because I'm usually good at that right away. Six <laughs> five, six four. So, and, and were you were you born? You're you're a big guy. Yeah, I was. Not um, were you born this size? I know that, but. I was, yeah. yeah. Right out of the womb. Yeah. Ow. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd always been a big kid. When I was eight, I was probably about a hundred and. 40 pounds or so. I was a big guy. And then, by, and then by the time I was 15, I was like 6'4", 210. Woo! Yeah. 6'4", 210, 220. And the, the problem was we traveled a lot with my family. So I went to about three or four different high schools when I was in high school. And when I was 15, I hit this one high school, and it was down in the south, down in, in Nashville. And everybody thought I was an undercover cop. <laughs> Believe it or not, I swear to you. And then, like, with the guys... Were you a, wearing suits to school, or...? Yeah, I was. I had a big badge, yeah. like, right there. Because um, you were so big, they thought you were too old th to they be... Th a... Yeah, there was, like, well, it, you know, I came in. I didn't look like anybody else. I kind of looked different, like, oh, look at him. And for guys, it's cool, because guys are like, yo, are you an undercover cop? I'm like, yeah, man. But <laughs> for the girls, like, when it's time to talk to girls, they'd be like, so, you know, can I take you to dinner? And they're like, not with you. And, like, walk away. Like, oh, great, okay. You're sorry Thanks. now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, damn it. Did, did you use, but if you were that big, did you play football or anything like that? Or I what? did. I played down at uh, University of Miami, and we played down there and uh, won a national title in 91. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're good. Great. They're doing great. They're, they're kicking a lot of booty. And um, yeah, played football. Is that what you wanted to do? You were going to be a football player? Um, well, coming from that school and, and uh, you know, a program like that that's such high profile. You think about two things. You think about graduating and then you think about becoming a pro football player. Mm -hmm. I wanted to play pro and I also wanted to work for the Secret Service. And that's what I got my degree in was criminology. But the funny story was by the end of my junior year, I finally had the bright idea of asking the professor, well, how, how much am I going to get paid? And he told me and I was like, oh my God. And, um, you know, here's the thing. I mean, the Secret Service, they are true heroes. They protect our, our leaders. But I looked at him. I'm like, you know, there's, that's, that's not take a bullet pay for no. me. I just, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. So by that time, I was already too late. So I wound up graduating with a degree in criminology. In criminology? Mm -hmm. Really? And what is, is that like uh, Quincy Jones? What's that mean? Yeah, yeah. A little, little iron side. Yeah? Yeah, mixed in there, sure. Um. <laughs> little Quincy Jones, yeah. What, do we have a question from Dallas? Is that what I hear? Yeah. Someone, someone in Dallas has a question. Isn't it cool that it's, you can get somebody right now oh, that's at the cool. state fair? Yeah. But, this is very cool. Look at that. Now, nice hat. you would never know that we were in Texas right now. <laughs> All right, hi there. Hello. What's your name? Marla. Hi, Marla. Hit, hit the, you're gonna talk to The Rock in a second. How exciting is that? Oh, I am so excited, you would not believe. I, no. <laughs> we, we really don't believe it, because... <laughs> what are you eating right there? Uh, well, this is some uh, fried ice cream. That's like the chicken fried ice cream they do. How, right? do, how do they do that? Well, it's a big old... It's ice cream, and they dip it in some uh, uh, deep fryer, and it comes out like this. All right. Well, that explains it. All right. What, what is your question for, for Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Well, I would just like to know how come he's not running for governor of California? <laughs> I want to know that, too. Um, man. Well, 
boy. Uh, well, that's a good question. And, um, but no, I probably will never ever get involved in politics. Really? Unfortunately, no. It's a, it's a little bit too much BS for me. I can't, I'll just let those guys handle it. I can't do it. I'll take some of that fried ice cream, though. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't blame you. Um, <laughs> So, so tell us about you. Rundown is number one, right? Number one, yeah. That thank is congratulations. You guys so much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I saw a, a clip of it, and uh, there's a little monkey business going on there. There's some monkey. Yeah. <laughs> there's some monkey business. Here's the thing with with the monkeys in the movie. They're uh, they're they're. <laughs> That's nice. That's ah, good. How's the ice cream? How is that? It's real good. Uh, yeah. Go get some more chicken. Oh. <laughs> good, huh? Would you go get some more chicken fried stuff and bring it back to us? Sure. All right, bring us back a, a whole bunch of uh, stuff and try to try to uh, calm down because. <laughs> So, uh, speaking of looking good, you have, I saw this picture we're in, in GQ magazine. Yeah. There's a picture of, of your tattoo, which is right. quite, have you seen, it's, it's, <laughs> I think we should all see it. I, it <laughs> okay. Because I want you to describe, right. um, <laughs> hold on. Because, I mean, this, this, it takes a long, long time to do this, and it means something, too. It's not just a tattoo. It actually has meaning. Sure. It, right. it does. It, um, okay, hold <laughs> on. We'll get to it. It, uh, it took 35 hours. It took two days. Um, and um, for me, it's... 35 um, hours, 35. two days. I want you to hear... So that's... basically two days straight, we stayed up getting it done. And, um, yeah, and it's, it's Polynesian. Uh, it's a Polynesian tattoo, Samoan tattoo, and it's a story of my life and everything that's important to me. I will show you right now. All right. This at home, there's like da 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 da. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Your so. arm is the size of this chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Um, well, for example, um, this. Well, okay. Where do we start? This is. These are the. Uh, these are the stones, and they're the foundation of my life. My tattoo, which represent. Um, they represent my strength, and they're here, they're here. This is, there is, if you could get a shot of this, this is my wife, this is my baby, and there's me, my big head. <laughs> and this part is the epicenter, the tattoo, it's where I derive my strength from. And this is strength, and these are the two eyes of my ancestors watching over me. These shark teeth for me are very important, which represent my fighting spirit. And, um, and this is my spiritual guide. This is also my loyalty. And right here is where I say I love Ellen DeGeneres. I was just gonna say, where's the... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My tattoo, actually, <laughs> no, I don't have one. That's, that's, uh, but that's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank Absolutely. you for being on. Thank you so much.